Also weighs in at 125 pounds. He is fighting out of Southport, England, and is representing Team Elite MMA with a mixed martial arts record of eight wins and two defeats. Make some noise for Liam the Nightmare Kittens. Ladies and welcome back to Cage Warriors, the Academy Northwest. I'm Jamie the Haymaker Hey, here with Jason the Blast Furnace. Who have we got next, Jay? Yeah, really great fight here. Kieran Mulholland of Belfast Martial Arts taking on Liam Gittins. And this one is for the amateur flyweight title. We've seen a lot of both guys, you know, both fought on Shinobi. Gittins was the champion on Shinobi as well. So looking to really step it up now and become the Cage Warrior, first ever Cage Warriors Northwest champion. Yeah, got a good knee to the body there from Mulholland, but getting straight away, pressuring into the fence. Good grappling game. Not even 20 years old yet, and had 10, 10 amateur He's fights. Have a He's big getting... slam there. Got to be careful of the guillotine. And Mulholland tried to square that guillotine up, but his hips are going to be in the wrong place as uh, Gittins works the pass. Yeah, he's going to work that bomb flu. Or maybe you go north-south, there we go. Good work. Yeah, eight and two, and uh, still a very young guy. That's good experience for, for Gittins, and he's already fought some of the uh, some of the best amateur flyweights in the country as well, as you say, being a champion at Shinobi. Yeah, I mean, you know, belts aside, it's, uh, it's, it's just great to be for these, these young lads to be getting the experience in before they turn pro. Looking for that Von Flew as um, Mulholland was holding on to the guillotine, but gives it up wisely. This is where Gittins does a lot of work, though, from the guard. He does a lot, of, you know, a lot of shots, a lot of punches. He won a lot of his eight fights from submissions as well. But at the minute, the submission attempts are coming from the bottom, and that's from Mulholland, who's come over from Belfast. Not just to make up the numbers here, but to take on that belt. Yeah, four and one is uh, Mulholland. Looking to step up the triangle with that wrist trap. Gittins needs to posture up from there. And Mulholland... He was able to get his hand in there to, to defend that, but they will be very careful. He's going to be very careful. He's, he's peeling the arm that. back in. The danger there is obviously the arm bar as well, but he's done well. Back to a safe position. Arms on, working on the inside. Yeah, this is what we've seen from Mulholland last time. Very active off his back. Very, very quick as well to fire up submission attempts. Let's see... Uh, He's making it a bit of a torrid time, really, for, for, from Gittins. Yeah, Gittins, Gittins is his tripod up, you know, head down, ass up, which is, is not the best position to fight from from there. Going to be head up, hips in, preferably as he goes to that. Up against right the cage as well now, he can he can sort of exert a bit more dominance and start throwing shots down. There yeah. we go, and there's some good shots as well. Couple of good right hands got through. There for the team elite fighter looking to pass now. Yeah, a couple of good ones on the bottom there. Got to watch that. Don't watch that ankle leaving that in there, but sees that. Yeah, trying, to, trying to trap the ankle there, looking for sweep or back take. There we go, getting six over there. And gets the, the pass as the 10 second clapper goes. Working that side control now. Not a great deal happening really in the first round. You know, I think he was a, a little bit of a feeling out process even on the floor there. Uh, there's a couple of submission attempts and, and obviously the wrestling side of it came from Gittins. But this is a you know five round fight possibly. Jason, so I know I mean obviously they need to exert their energy a little bit more. Sorry, reserve their energy a little bit more rather than just putting the pressure on, but not, not a bad start to the fight. Yeah, potentially going all the rounds is is not easy. I know it's something that uh, Gittins has done before. But, you know, you've got to try and pace yourself. You don't want to be in the fifth round and, and lose in a fight. You could have won because you've uh, just used too much. It, it's finding the balance, isn't it, between trying to use your techniques and trying to finish the fight when you can and uh, knowing you've got enough left in the tank. But these guys, young fellas at this kind of weight, I mean, I've got no doubt they've uh, they got the energy to, to do the rounds, put the rounds in and... Probably yeah. work all night. I think you find that definitely with the uh, with the lower weight divisions, they tend to have the, the gas tanks to go for days. Gittins putting, you know, putting Mulholland on the back foot again. Mulholland's got nice hands. Are we seeing that in his last fight? Yeah, looking for some crisp counters. There is Mulholland. Gittins trying to close the distance with the kicks is obviously a, quite a bit of a reach disadvantage. 
Popping his jab there, oh. comes with a nice overhand over the top. But you saw Mulholland try and fire his right hand straight back. Lovely uppercut there as well on the way out from Gittins. This is good work. Oh, a nice body shot. And again, goes with a left kick to the body. Oh, another, another one there. From some good shots. And there we go, he goes in for that takedown. Go watch that neck again. Yeah. Sees it this time. Beautiful work from Gittins. That's a lovely transition. Beautiful timing on the takedown and active straight away looking for that. Might have a Kimura attempt from there if he can get past. He had a nice deep underhook there. Yeah, Gittin's one of them guys that I, you know, the first time I watched him, I had to apologise for pretty much writing him off in the fight that he was, gonna, he was in and he ended up winning and taking, uh, taking the title home. And ever since then, he just, you know, he's, he's come on leaps and bounds. Yeah, I mean, it looks like the kind of kid you might see on the street with somebody nicking his dinner money, but he see, can fight. He's a seasoned really, vet now. Yeah, he really can fight. Yeah, more, more fights than most amateurs, and he's, and he's starting to, you know, he's, he's showing here, isn't it, the, the yeah. way he's, he's fighting. Look how fluid he is moving through them positions. Well, Holland looking for a, a leg lock entry there, but especially when he looks amateur, it yeah, takes away quite a lot of your options from that position. It does, and you, get, and you give up a lot of positioning as well, going for the straight ankle locks, and tie your own arms out. And Gittins just working around, picking the shots off when they're there. You know, he's up on the round, got the takedown, he's done some good work. He doesn't need to uh, rush anything from there. Steps in with a nice little left hand. Yeah, you know, he, th he throws shots. He doesn't just try and grapple. He does throw shots as well as he's grappling in and trying to transition. And I think that helps Gittins, and I think that's why, you know, he mixes it up so well. Looking there to... Try and stride past, change of direction, and Great then work. drives the knee through. That is good work, Jimmy. Goes like the knee on belly as well. Love the position, something I really like to do. Yep, 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 see, Mo again attacking for the leg lock. Yeah, he's... Good shot there. He needs to try and push the uh, the leg away from his hip. Thing is, when you go for them leg locks, them punches really make you let go. Yeah. See, it's okay in a, in, in a BJJ competition. Oh, Ooh. and that was a big right hand, that one bounced his head off the canvas. Like you say, it, it's a, a full commitment thing, and if you don't get it, then he's just eating some shots for nothing really. Oh, nice body shot again. Left and then a right, this is beautiful work, and what a great round this has been from uh, from Leon Gittins. Mulholland's still there though, firing back, but he's going to be taken down again, just to put a final stamp on a great round for Gittins. So after a, after a rather slow first round, that was a... A frantic second round by uh, by Gittins. You know, his transitions are fantastic there. Yeah, the first one was close, and uh, Liam Gittins now really starting to make this fight his own there in round two. And you can see there, it's, you know, great targeting with that with the left kicks to the body. As Mulholland throws his shots, he's timing it underneath, trying to get inside for the liver with that left kick to the body. And there was the timing on the takedown. Wonderful work. Yeah, his, his timing, his level changes, everything's been, been perfect so far. And then, like I said, that little neon belly, what he did, dropping some shots. Even when, as soon as um, Mulholland went for that ankle, all he did was fire shots down, straight down the pipe, into the face. And that, that just makes you let go. You, you know, like I said, it's great to use in a, in a, in a, in a no gear or a BJJ competition, but. You give up, so you give up a bad position, and also you, you you get punched in the face. Yeah, the game changes when you're eating some big shots. Third round, round of a three. possible five. Yeah. And getting more confident with his striking as well. Now he's getting firing off that rear leg kick to the body. Oh, and a big another. rear left. There we go, another, another yeah, left that, again. That one came through straight, and now getting really finding a home for and these he, shots. There's a cut Mulholland's on the eye. Cut, yeah, above the right eye, that was the, the left hand. Beautiful left hand it was from Gittin. Sorry, third time lucky. Oh, he's taking some shots here, and I think Gittin's watches on his feet now. I think he's got the confidence here. Oh, but Mulholland firing back with some heavy shots. And goes for the takedown himself now. Let's see what Mulholland can do. Yeah, first time we've seen him attempt to take down because he's eating some big shots from Liam Gittins here at the early in round three. And again with a straight left. And once again, Gittins is looking odds on to be part of a, another fight of the night. And it's firing in now, wading in. Much more confidence, happy with the distance, chasing his man down and he's put Mul Mul Mulholland sorry, on the back foot. Beautiful Superman punch. Yeah, he used that perfectly. Good, 
precision on that shot there. Good he's switching kick. the kicks up as well. You know, switching stands, switching the kicks, using the hands as well, and that beautiful Look. kick to the liver. He wants that Cerrone type finish. Look at the, that though. With, the, with the shin to the liver. Look at the welts on both sides uh, of uh, of the ribs here. Both sides absolutely. And Liam Gibbs just up. opened up the tempo. He's ramped it up by, you know, 100% this third round. He's just coming forward relentlessly. Oh, good check there as well. That'll that'll make him think twice. Throwing that kick. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, nice little roll, but he did eat a, a shot as he came back up. Both guys threw shots. Getting switching, opening up the array of shots. That was a good left quick to the body, just the foot connected though. And, and then body shots are really doing the work now because he's starting to put that lower guard in Mulholland, which will which start opening up that head shot from, uh, from Gittins. And relentless pressure for two minutes so far of round three. Liam Gittins has just been moving forward, throwing shots, just constantly putting the pressure on yeah, here in Mulholland. I mean, I've just heard from the corner of... Uh, of Mulholland saying that Gittins is tiring too, but I don't agree. I think he's uh, he's far from that. He looks like he's he's enhancing the pace more than anything. And that was say, you know, this is not uh, five rounds. Not something he's unfamiliar with, and he's going. He's still pushing the pace. Yeah, he he done five rounds with Mohammed McKeeve not long ago on uh, on Tanko, I believe. So he's, he's he is used to these kind of rounds. But this has been a. a Fantastic fight so far from Liam Gittins. Yeah, and you know, he's got better as the rounds have gone on. Which is, you know, sometimes you see the, the shifts in momentum, but no, Gittins is just taking more and more control as time goes on. And you can see Kieran Mulholland there, he's, uh, he's, to put it bluntly, taking a bit of a hiding in that round. Oh, again, you know, I think that was even worse than the second, especially with the, you know, the cut to the eye. And if you look at the, if you look at the, the welts on the, on the ribs, of, uh, of Mulholland, that just tells the story itself. You know, the kicks, it's not just one kick that he's throwing. Yeah, okay, he's, he's having success with that left kick, but he's switched up with the right kick as well, and he's causing a lot of damage to uh, to the body. And what that, all that's doing is he's just tiring Mulholland out more and more. Yeah, and you saw a couple of beautiful shots there when he went, and what's happening is, like you say, Jamie, it gets him bringing the arm down. There's a beautiful sequence there where getting his left kick to the body and then has came down with the right hand to the head as uh, as the arms came lower. I wouldn't be surprised. Left, I wouldn't be surprised if we see a, a stoppage, a late, late stoppage uh, from Gittins. I genuinely think we, we could see a stoppage at some point. If he carries on with them body kicks, then that would, would be the way forward for me. And that's exactly what he needs to carry on doing. That elusive movement. I mean, just look at the way Gittins has moved in this fight. Like a seasoned pro, isn't it? He is, and you know, he's had a good amount of fights to get to that point, and he's only going to be getting better. A nice roll and up with a left hook there from Gittins. And he's making the longer man miss. Yeah, and he's backing off a lot more, is Mulholland now. Watch, watch Mulholland go for a takedown at some point very soon. And he's certainly not winning on his feet at the minute. Yeah, that zip that was in the punches and the counters from Mulholland. It came back a little bit there, but up to that point in this round, he's, um, he's just been pouring the returns out. Yeah, he's took another one there. He's backing off every time that shot's coming in now. Yeah, left kick to the body again. It, taking its toll, really draining that energy bar of Kieran Mulholland. You'll find the more he starts to get them shots, the more he'll try and block them, and it will open up in the head shots. Good left hand there. And he's got to protect that eye. And a right to the body, mixing up the Rangers now. Beautiful work from Gittins, going high, going to the body, going low with the kicks, keeping his man guessing. But that's good for Mulholland. This heavy on the off. counters. Great slip there and a great roll as well. And you see Mulholland, he's got, he had the right and high, a couple of nice jabs there from Gittins. He's just on the back foot and he's allowing Gittins to just walk him down and dictate the pace. You know, if he wants to come away from this fight with anything, he needs to get back on the front foot. Yeah, so far he's three rounds down. Oh, oh big, right big shot. Oh, and another one comes over the top. Liam Gittins, this, and a big oh. left hook. What a set of whiskers Kieran Mulholland's got. He's taking these shots like a champ and firing back with his best shots of the round. He is indeed, and he's trying to put that pressure back on, but the Gittins is just too powerful, too strong here, and too fast for Mulholland. And as we said, the last round, Gittins just ramping up the pressure, ramping up the pressure. Oh, another good right. How long could Kieran Mulholland last? He seems I think to it's a question of when, not if. And that was another great right hand over the top. 
he seems to have got quicker and quicker as he's, as he's gone on through this fight as Gittins. This is a brilliant fight. Another body shot there. He's causing some serious damage. You can see the wincing of the oh, face that now. That body shot hurt him. You can see him a little bit crumpled there as he came back off the fence. Oh, and that's what we're saying. He's going to start dropping his hands. And that's when Gittins can go high. Oh, and another head kick there. This is great work. And this fight has got more and more one-sided as Liam Gittins continues to plough forward. Beautiful low kicks. Oh, and that right hand just narrowly missed. I think he's got, I mean, oh, the, the pressure he's putting on is perfect here. He's just chasing him down. He's not tiring. He's, pu he's pushing the pace. Uh, straight left through as he switched the stance. And again, but Mulholland, this kid has got some unbelievable heart because just when it looks like he's about to crumble, he fires back with some shots of his own. I mean, he's undeniably getting one hell of a bean in there but look no, at that I end mean, of the round still swinging he's still swinging away but this is you know this is unbelievable this is four rounds down now and and you know they, there's not i don't see what mulholland can do here that's the thing jay i don't i can't see you know his strikes aren't affecting getting getting his moving forward and taking the strikes and landing better strikes you know the ground game so far from mulholland isn't as good as getting this is it's a tough one for, for, for even what to tell Mulholland in this fight. Yeah, exactly. And, you know, you look at some of these shots here. He's been saved by his own toughness, by his own chin. But this fight is increasingly getting more and more out of his reach. And that head kick that he landed with was unbelievable. I think that was one to the body that hurt him. You can see him come off the fence there a little bit, bent over. May not have been that shot. I think it was that one to the liver. That was it. And you could see the little wins there. What a fight. I mean, my heart comes off to Kieran Mulholland if he makes it the distance with um, with Liam Gittins here because you know he, Gittins has put an absolute clinic on. So here we go, fifth and final round, and what a great fight! And you know, look at that. These guys have just been beating the hell out of each other for four rounds and give a quick hug, and then back to it. Oh, oh Mulholland this is coming one. with some nice counters. Gittins coming out heavy hands and Mulholland meeting him in the middle. If Mulholland swings away though, this is where he could get caught. That's the only issue, but that's his only option at the minute. Yeah, I mean, there's no plan B at this point. There's no winning on points. There is uh, only trying to knock his head off. Oh, he's crawling up though, he's crawling up, he's crawling up the fence. And he's looking to try and get that neck, but good work with a strong neck from Gittins. Yeah, good posture, fought off the choking arm, lovely work. And Gittins gets that break that he wants. But now he's going to start throwing them shots again. Chasing Mulholland down. Chasing down, but not tiring out. Yeah, and you see, I like how he, he changes the power on the shots. It's like, it's like one, two, three, but it's jab, jab, cross. But he'll step on the cross and make it hard after pulling the first two. Changing the tempo, changing the power, mixing up the levels. Mulholland now, he, I don't know if his corner's told him that he's got to go out there and finish it, but it does seem to have a bit of a fire underneath him. He's, we've not seen this much output from him since the first round, maybe. We've not, we've not but Gittins is still winning this round as well. Oh, yeah, still. This is it. It's, it it's, it's one of them where what can he do? Apart from swing away and get caught himself, that's the only issue. There's not really much you can tell Mulholland against someone like Gittins, who's, who's as gritty as this. And halfway through the final round, and Mulholland, show, Mulholland sorry, showing he's still in the fight. He still wants this, but I think it's probably gone too far out of his grip, out of his grasp. As Gittins keeps coming forward, landing shots almost at will. There's the hard hook coming back from Mulholland. But how much has Mulholland got left after taking all them shots, especially to the body? It's going to really have tied him out. I mean, the best I think he can hope for at this point is, you know, coming out of this fight with his. Head held high after putting in a good performance. Unless, for these 45 seconds, he can pick out a wonder shot. But on the back foot consistently, it's hard to see it. But there he comes, aggressive. But getting his movement, footwork, ducks and dives out of the way. Beautiful roll off the fence and then pushes back. Yeah, I mean, well, Holland, you know, he's... He's never, he's never really been in this fight, but he's still in the fight. <laughs> You know, he's, he's still taking the shots. But unfortunately, Gittins has just been too good throughout. And groaning confidence as the fight's gone on. 
And you know, one of the one of the more even rounds of the fight there from Mulholland, which is a oh. testament. Big right hand as they swing, punch for punch to finish the fight. <laughs> wow. What about? And if anything beats that one for fight of the night, then it surely deserves it, Jeremy. Because that was a cracker. What a fight there. You know, I mean that Kieran Mulholland seriously has some some chin, heart, determination, but Liam Gittins. He has some serious talent, and yeah, I, you we're know, looking at a future star, Jamie. Extremely talented young fighter. You know, I, I, I'm, I'm really impressed. With, you know, with both guys there. You know, it was an absolute whitewash for, for, um, for Gittins, to be fair. But I mean, let's be honest, Mulholland. But he didn't look like he was going out at any point. He looked like he was always trying to be in that fight. And yeah, exactly. Just and he just one pace behind him. That was the only issue. I, I think he beats most guys at his weight in the UK and Ireland off the back of that performance it just so happens Liam Gittins is um, undeniably you know a first rate fighter as an amateur flyweight Ladies and gentlemen, after five hard contested rounds of mixed martial arts action, we go to the judges' scorecards to declare your winner by unanimous decision. And the new first amateur flyweight champion in the blue corner, Liam the Nice Man Gittins. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here with your winner. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here with your first ever Cage Warriors Academy Champion, Northwest, Liam Gittins. Liam, what a fantastic fight that was, mate. Yeah, it was awesome, man. Now, I mean, he was a real tough kid. Did you think at any point you were going to finish him? To be honest, like I know he went to five rounds with people, but uh, I, I, thought I'd, I thought I'd catch him or something, honestly, and I went in. And after the second, I was like, this dude is fucking tough. And I, hurt my, I actually hurt my hand punching him in the head, and I've not done that before, so. Well, I mean, you, you, you seem to work the, the body kicks in the second round really well, and obviously his hands went a bit lower, and that, he landed a beautiful head kick. What, what was the game plan sort of walking into this fight? Game plan walking in, um, he's known to come out fast. I know he took it on late notice. Uh, thank you to him as team for doing that again. Uh, you guys are awesome, but I thought he wouldn't be fit enough, and so I was going to take him down, grind him out, left body kick, hopefully finish it. Yeah. Now, obviously, our, our first ever uh, academy champion. How does that feel to be to have the Cage Warriors belt on you? I can't describe it. It's, it's amazing. It really is. Thank you. What, what do you think's next for yourself? I mean, there's a couple of guys out there that are looking good at the minute. Who do you think's next for you? Um, I always talk to my coach before I start my fight, so back to the drawing board before I announce anything. Ladies and gentlemen, please give it up for our new flyweight champion, Liam Gittins. Hold on one second. Uh, guys, uh, I got a YouTube channel, Liam Cam, so remember to subscribe. Um, yeah, it's awesome. You'll love it. So hit the subscribe button and you'll be getting weekly videos of me and my brother. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Liam Gittins. <laughs> 